What's going on, geese and gamers? This is Ryan with RK Outpost, and today I have with me Lethal Lightning. Lethal, how are you doing? Angelic Tastic. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing awesome. And you know, since since Star Wars has gone backwards, since Star Wars is now taking everything it can from the expanding universe, specifically Dark Empire, especially with this revelation that in the Star Wars Rise of Skywalker novel, Palpatine is supposedly a clone with a little throwaway paragraph that is probably never mentioned again. <clears throat> retcon um we decided we wanted to talk a little bit about the differences between dark empire and also the extreme similarities to this story from the mid 90s that was thrown away because oh well the expanding universe was too convoluted and how dare you bring palpatine back as a clone things like this things that people said all the time now lethal what were your first thoughts when you heard palpatine's a clone I didn't believe it. I thought it was um, a troll. I, honestly, I thought it was a troll. I did not believe it for one moment until I clicked on it. And then um, I was like, oh, my God, this is real. And then I saw that uh, Star Wars Fury did a video on it as well. So, yeah, there was that. But the first thing that went through my mind was I can distinctly remember back in 2014 when the EU got, you know, chucked over the shoulder. The biggest complaint that all like the thing that they were using as their argument as to why to get rid of it all was the fact that Palpatine came back as a clone. That was like their golden ticket to use as an argument to get rid of years and years and years of continuity. Scrap it. Why? Because Palpatine's a clone. And now here we are. So that was what made me question. I was like, this can't be right. We can't be right. But we live in a clown world, so it's real. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so you have like a Mickey clown behind you speaking. That kind of looks like a clown. So that makes sense. But, uh, you know, you're exactly right. And when the expanded universe, so all of the stories, all the comics, all the books, all the video games, everything was scrapped that was made before 2014. Um, you're right. There were articles that came out that said, this is why we should scrap it. You should be happy the EU is gone because of this. Now, for those of you that aren't aware, Dark Empire was a series of comics that came out uh, in the early to mid-90s. And it, it was a story about after Return of the Jedi. And it turned out that Palpatine had made clones of himself. And after he was killed by Anakin Skywalker, he, he used essence transfer, was able to transfer his spirit into a body of this clone. Now, the thing with the clones where they weren't able to really contain his spirit. So they would deteriorate over a little bit of time. So he kept having to transfer from clone to clone. And he was looking for the perfect being to basically inhabit. And that being would turn out to be Anakin Solo, the youngest child of Han and Leia. And that was kind of his goal in the end. And uh, there's a lot more to go into with Dark Empire about why it wasn't super well received for things that happened. You know, Luke pretending to uh, faking like he was going to go to the dark side to become Palpatine's apprentice to get close to him and actually slipping a little too far down that line, things like that. But you're right, it was one of the most controversial things in the expanded universe. And then to go and directly copy that for your episode nine is just about the dumbest, most disingenuous thing I can think of. I also thought it was a bit of a, a spit in the face as well to... EU fans now I might get a bit high and mighty here but honestly I think um EU was the thing that kept it alive all these years I mean what what was the gap between the originals and the prequels and what was the gap between the prequels and the sequels and what was going on in the meantime of all that it was the EU and if we were to just get tossed aside <laughs> because of a client Palpatine and then to bring back a client Palpatine ridiculous and I'll, I'll go on record right now I, I am not a fan of Dark Empire uh, I've said that a few times. I don't particularly like the story. I'm kind of just fundamentally opposed to the idea of Palpatine returning. But I mean, <laughs> if you kind of use that as your argument to get rid of it and then just copy it, well, copy it but in a slightly different way, just seemed a bit ridiculous to me. And, you know, like, even, I will say, though, the, the cloning thing in general in Star Wars, I feel, is a bit played out. You know, it's kind of used as a cop out for most things and whatnot. And, I was already kind of over it and then they're saying hey palpatine's a clone now it's just just crazy but one thing that i will probably say in defense of dark empire was this story came out before the prequels so there was no chosen one prophecy so they didn't really at the time know that they were screwing over anakin and you know 
there are arguments to be made about that within hindsight. But the fact that they had uh, Luke Skywalker and Leia being the ones, you know, yes, Leia, Leia helped as well quite a bit, and um, have them come together and be the ones like to continue their father's legacy against uh, the dark side. It makes more sense than um, a Palpatine killing a Palpatine, essentially. Yes, there are definitely there are definitely things about Dark Empire that uh, make you question a lot. However, it should be noted that the entire idea of Dark Empire was not only approved, basically suggested by George Lucas. Mm-hmm. Um, they originally for Dark Empire they had wanted to use Darth Vader. They had wanted to use someone running around in Darth Vader armor uh, to make Luke go confront his father again and. George flat out said, no, you can't use Vader. It's got to be something else. Eventually they discussed and the idea of Palpatine returning came back. George said, you can bring Palpatine back as long as he's a clone. Um, And that's what Tom Veitch, that's what the writer of this has said numerous times uh, about George Lucas's thoughts on it. And obviously in order to get anything published, you needed George Lucas's approval. Mm -hmm. But Other things in this movie that are direct from Dark Empire. Obviously, Palpatine being a clone, supposedly. And we'll get to that, why why I don't think he's a clone in the movie. But Palpatine being a clone. A hidden fleet that's laying in wait, because that's how it was in Dark Empire. He had a hidden fleet of what are known as World Devastators, which were essentially super weapons. Um, Wow, a whole fleet of super weapons, just like in Rise of Skywalker. You also, he showed this unique ability called Force Storm, in which he could basically summon a storm with his with his body to destroy a enemy fleet, which we saw with the Force Lightning. We saw that Force Storm in Rise of Skywalker. Uh, without any explanation, without anything like that in Rise of Skywalker, they just all of a sudden do it. So mm-hmm. it's so frustrating as an EU fan, which is... Not everybody has read the EU, right? But it's frustrating when you see all that stuff that you're told is garbage and gets thrown away and it's too convoluted, just brought into the fold with no credit given, with nothing like that. It's just, oh, yeah, we just decided to make this happen. No, you stole that. Just be real. Oh, definitely. I mean, there's far too many similarities, you know, even just based on like what we knew about the movie before it even come out. You know, even I remember like the first, teaser trailer that was shown for that that was like the first thing that was going around with that within hours saying is this just dark empire and it, it's just too close there's no way they could not have ripped off dark empire like you know there's the whole thing like did they have a plan no they didn't have a plan but maybe they looked into dark empire which i don't know how it's possible because i thought there was no source material oh it brings a lot into question doesn't it uh <laughs> for sure and to me I think that this is just a retcon in one paragraph of the novel. I don't believe. Like, I just can't buy. You can't tell me that he was supposed to be a clone in that. Um, one, people like people have been talking about, why is he so old and gross if he's a clone? Mm-hmm. Um, I will say, like, in Dark Empire, his the clone body was, like, imperfect. You're not supposed to clone Force Sensitives. Um, so it's it's an imperfect body. And he was deteriorating due to his spirit, but he would transfer into another body. Why the hell wouldn't he make another clone of himself in Rise Mm -hmm. of Skywalker? There's literally millions of these Sith eternal loyalists, whatever the hell you want there. You're telling me if they did it once and he was transferred his essence, he couldn't do it again. Why can he only transfer his essence into Rey at the end of the movie? That doesn't make any sense. Why is his, when he's restored, why is his face still fucked up yeah. from what happened with Mace Windu in the prequels? That wouldn't happen if he was a clone. Why are his fingers burnt to shit? That wouldn't mm-hmm. happen if he was a clone. J.J. Abrams, you can't tell me that over the past two months of him getting raked across the coals for this stupid idea of bringing Palpatine back with no warning would have said, well, he's a clone, guys, just so you know. You can't tell me that. I don't believe it. They've been listening to people like us say how Dark Empire did it better, and they decided to retcon it with one paragraph in a novel. Oh, it just goes to show you, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that can be said for the entire expanded universe, I think. (laughs) It was just... If they out like, okay, let's just say this sequel... Let's just say it was never rebooted, and they said, we're doing a sequel trilogy, and then along the lines, they said, okay, we're going to do Dark Empire. You know, we'd already know what we're getting into. Me, personally, I'd be like, oh, really? You're doing Dark Empire? But at least you're honest with it, you know. Like, it's it's a ripoff. It's an outright ripoff, you know. And just to say that 
that it, to me it's always going to come back to the same thing you said that dark empire was garbage you said that cloning palpatine was garbage and that's why you got rid of all this stuff and then you threw it all out and then you just bring it back in you bring in elements of the eu which do you think it's fair to say dark empire is not exactly the most popular story in the eu you bring that back and you're like what well, what are you trying what's the angle here like are, are you trying to please eu fans by bringing in the the story that's debated the most or i don't know like it, it, it's just all over my head these days i look at it and go you got no idea what you're doing you really don't no and it's and this is you know separate from the dark empire thing but during the high republic the project luminous announcement um they had some woman from editorial i forget her name but she got up there and she taught she had the gall to talk about what was it that kept star wars alive between the originals and the prequels comics and books what was it that kept star wars alive between the prequels and the sequels comics and books she literally said this on stage and i was like raging reacting to it live because i'm like yeah those are the people that you just kicked in the nuts um, yeah. and then you come back and do things like this yeah. but uh but yeah so we wanted to let you guys know a little bit more about dark empire and how Rise of Skywalker is now, now that they've come out with this retcon, is literally just a straight bootleg trash ripoff of one of the most controversial stories in the entire expanded universe. Mm -hmm. um, now, Lethal, at some point, maybe he's actually going to have to watch Rise of Skywalker. He's abstained, abstained up to this point, and is only living vicariously with his rage through myself. I, I think, think I might just reread Dark Empire. Oh, well, you might as well. That's a better story anyway. But thanks for joining me, Lethal. I appreciate it. Um, Thank you. Geeks and Gamers, make sure you subscribe to Geeks and Gamers. Subscribe to Lethal Lightning. Subscribe to my channel, Ryan Kennel RK Outpost. Smash the like button. Share this video out there. Ring the bell for notifications. And we'll talk to you guys later. Hey, Root.